Hello, Assalamualaikum guys, and this is my new tutorial for Hackintosh. And in this tutorial, it is specifically based for those who are asking about which settings I use for my Hackintosh. So the first thing I go from is let me let me go to the BIOS setting. Uh, they were asking about the BIOS setting. Which BIOS setting does I use for my hack? So I got like three screens right now, and let me restart. I was using it. My dream. So, and uh, the bias will not come on this display. I think it is. It gonna come on the left one. And you can see the speed of the restart is pretty, pretty, pretty fast. Oh, oh, it comes on this display. So it it usually shifts between one uh, and between three of this. This is because motherboard selects it on its own. All right. Now I'm in the BIOS. Uh, let me brighten the display. I think it's really, really. The model number for the motherboard is ASUS Z97 Pro Gamer. Right now I'm not on a, an X99 system. Uh, that system is in my office. This one is my home station. So it's Z97 Pro Gamer with Core i5, AGB of RAM, <coughs> and stuff. You can see the model number is uh, clear, the motherboard. So there are, uh, if you boot directly in an easy mode, there are two settings. This is an easy mode BIOS setting, like when you boot in, there goes to easy mode stuff. And this is the advanced mode. You have to go to, you have to press F7 for the advanced mode. Once you are in the advanced mode, you have to go to AI tweaking. You can uh, probably don't change it for your start. Once done, you can switch it later. So the first thing you have to do is you have to go to USB config. You have to make your EHCI handoff enable. You have to make Intel at Intel X HCI and mode enable and legacy USB port enable. Go back and in onboard devices you can select your front uh, HD out. Uh, HD audio as AC97 or HD audio. So these are not like not so recommended for like beginners or uh, let me show you the basic stuff which is needed. So go to the advanced, go in PCH storage configuration, SATA mode selection. Move it from RAID if you are using a RAID drive to AHCI mode. Do not use ADI. Uh, it's really old one. Use AHCI. Go back, go to boot, disable the fast boot. It works, uh, Mac OS X works with fast boot, but you're gonna get so many problems with this. So, disable fast boot, boost, uh, post delay time, put it to zero. Go to the uh, setup mode, you can see. Now, in setup mode, you can select advanced if you want to boot in advanced directly and go to CSM compatibility sport module in here you have to change your boot device control to UEFI if you're gonna use UEFI, UEFI only and here in secure boot what you have to do is you have to uh, put other OS in this OS type operating system type you have to put other o OS do not put Windows UEFI and in, in key management for example if you are using a Windows uh, previously then what you have to do is you have to clear the secure, uh, secure boot keys uh, it might sometimes cause a lag oh, oh sorry for my monitor uh, shaking hand hope it's clear it's not so much shaky so Clears secure boot keys. Go back. Uh, the settings are almost same for those who are using a UEFI X99 chipset. You the I think there is no other difference you have to make. And that's all. That's all what you have to do for getting OS X working on your system. Now I, I, let me show you how it works. I'll go and I will press enter and if the display comes on this monitor it will be fine yeah you can see uh, there's nothing I have to enter later and 
I hope it like boots in because I'm using a normal SSD. It's not a like ultra fast SSD. It's like six three hundred Mbps read and write speed. So here it goes. It configures like it's an original <laughs> Mac. I don't need anything. I'll for it. I don't yo here it comes again. Shutdown and restart times are pretty pretty fast on this system. I really like the shutdown shutdown speed. On my last on my older Mac OS X setup, I was using a Gigabyte H87 for my home, so it took around two minutes to shut down. But it takes around 10 to 15 seconds to shut down. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's all for the BIOS for an Hackintosh. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys liked it. If you do, please subscribe to my channel, share my video. Hope to meet you in the very next video. Allah Hafiz.